in the lives of the Muhajirin and Ansar. You know, those who uh, fled Mecca to Al-Mukarrama or those who had left Mecca to Al-Mukarrama upon the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the time of the Hijrah, they went to Medina Munawwara. When they went to Medina Munawwara, they were met with the Ansar. And those Muhajirin and Ansar, they loved each other, they sacrificed for each other in many, many ways. There were others who followed, even, with, even like us. We are from among those who followed later on. We are not Muhajirin, nor are we Ansar. But we are those who followed, who came later on. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about those who came immediately afterwards and even those who followed later. And this verse is in Surah Al-Hashr, verse number 10. وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِن بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ Those who came after them, they say or they said. So either you continue saying if it is now or those before you have just said it. So وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِن بَعْدِهِمْ Those who came after them, يَقُولُونَ They say. What do they say? May Allah make this dua on our tongues very often. رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا بِالْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلًّا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ رَؤُوفٌ رَحِيمٌ O oh, our Rabb, forgive us and our brethren who have preceded us in Iman, those who came before us from the Ummah. O oh Allah, forgive us and forgive our brothers and sisters. Ikhwanina here would include brothers and sisters, members of the Ummah. O oh Allah, forgive us and forgive our brethren, those who have come before us in Iman. So we're making dua for those who came before us. It shows that there is a concern. It shows that there is uh, a feeling. I don't just want to be forgiven, but I want those before me to also be forgiven. Amazing. Amazing. It's very deep. I think a lot of us are quite selfish. We don't even think of it. Some of us might be making this dua, but we don't even know what it means. Now, sometimes you might have read a little book of history where there might have been a dispute between those who preceded us, whether they were from the Sahaba or Tabi'een, or those who came later on, the companions, or those who followed. Uh, there might have been a small dispute. You, even uh, later on, there might have been wars between the Muslims. There might have been people who were right and wrong. We might have read things. The books of history could have been changed. They could be inaccurate in some cases, depending on what exactly the story was and how it came to us. All of that set aside, we say, Oh Allah, forgive us and forgive those who preceded us with Iman. And now, because I might have a slight feeling, oh, you know, there was a dispute between this person and this person uh, in 500 uh, after Hijrah or 656 Hijri when Baghdad actually uh, dropped and so on. Uh, and so we have a slight feeling in our heart sometimes. So Allah says the continuation of that dua. وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلًّا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا O oh Allah, O oh Allah, do not place in our hearts the slightest negative feeling for those who have believed with us. Subhanallah. Do not place in our hearts the slightest hatred, ill feeling, malice, whatever else it may be for the, uh, the rest of the believers. That's something interesting. So whatever happened between them is between them and Allah. You know, I'm living now so many years later. Even if we've had a dispute with someone of the Ummah, we are asking Allah, Oh Allah, do not let that malice come into my heart for another, another Muslim. If you look at the problems we're facing on the globe today, the Muslims among, their, among themselves, there is so much of hatred that they don't want to look eye to eye. Any, they're looking for any reason to be divided. Unfortunately, surely we should be looking for any reason to be united. وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلًّا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا O oh Allah, do not place in our hearts the slightest negative feeling for those who have believed. So shaitan comes to you and makes you say, they haven't believed. They are not believers. And this is a sickness in the ummah where people think they are qualified to remove the rest of those who are saying La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah from the fold of the ummah. Subhanallah, 
we might want to discuss, we might want to warn, we might say there are certain deeds that may uh, negate your faith in Allah. But to start taking people in and out of the ummah as though it's a property of ours and we have the right to say and to bring in and take out, that is very dangerous. That is what is resulting in the fighting, the killing, the wars, the hatred, the destruction within the ummah. Whereas we're supposed to be coming together, there will be differences. There were differences from the time of the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah be pleased with them and us too. We need to know how to deal with difference of opinion respectfully. And we may want to differ. We may want to strongly disagree on certain matters, but that should not result in hatred within and among those who utter that shahada. It is a very sacred shahada. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. Wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger, his prophet, his slave, his worshiper. That is a, a shahada, the declaration of tawheed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. So this is why that dua ends uh, oh Allah, do not place in our hearts any ill feeling towards those who have believed. Rabbana inna karaufun rahim. Oh Allah, you are the most kind, the most merciful. You are filled with kindness and mercy. Uh, you are the greatest. Oh Allah, fill our hearts with kindness and mercy too. So this is a dua. I call on all of us to read this dua on a daily basis. There is no fixed number, no fixed place, no specific time, but it's just a supplication from the Quran that would be very, very powerful if we were to use these words, bearing in mind their meaning to call out to Allah. رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا بِالْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلًّا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ رَؤُوفُ الرَّحِيمُ Oh, our Rabb, Forgive us and those of our brethren who have preceded us with Iman and do not let our hearts hold within these hearts even the slightest ill feeling, even the slightest ill feeling uh, against those who have believed for indeed, O oh our Lord, you are the most kind, the most forgiving. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us benefit from these beautiful divine supplications mentioned in Revelation. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us.